Welcome back to Rusky Well Fab. Welcome back to the channel. Turns out I do have pretty much enough for almost daily updates, so we'll see how that goes. It's a different day, believe me. Um, let's get started. That's a good one. And before we do get started, guys, don't forget, please go down into the comment section, leave me anything you like, any questions. Also, click like. Let's um, let's try and make. 100 likes on this video, 100 likes. It definitely will help me. It'll take half a second of your time. Just go down and click, and it definitely helps my channel sort of being boosted up in the, in the ranks. Anyway, the engine is ready to be lifted inside the, the bay. Dropped, lifted, anyways. What I've done, um, the alternator in the previous video is done. I'm still waiting for the belt, um, so I'm, 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 I'm happy how, how it sits. Um, I mentioned that this bracket, the cover bracket, that needs to be slightly trimmed. I trimmed it, it was a little bit cracked, so I epoxy glued it and stuff like that. So, as you can see, it needed a little bit more space for the belt to sort of go, so it doesn't actually catch at the bottom. So we've done that, just waiting for it to dry. And I got bloody adhesive all over my fingers. The top bracket that I made previously, if you would like to see how I made that, um, I'm not going to leave a link, but go to my playlist, Building the Fastest, and you will find this. Uh, the same goes for the gearbox um, mount. Uh, new bolts, well, by new, I mean, I measured them again, cut them to the correct length, because I think the previous box had a couple of threads sort of misthreaded anyways. So that's all ready, and we have an engine hoist. I borrowed this from guys at Calci Connor. Alsi, thank you very much. Never used it before, but how hard can it be? So we'll bring it in, raise the engine, and it should be ready to go back inside, because as soon as it's back inside, I can start mocking up where the water pump is going to go because like i said it sits somewhere around here but i'm not sure of the clearance for the radiator so we need to put the radiator i think it stops here so we have just enough space somewhere here hopefully hopefully we can make it work two hours later and as you can see it's in obviously it fits like a glove because i had it before with the same box in so no surprises there it's not bolted Finally, uh, manifolds are still missing because, like I said, we need to find a way how to fit this water pump. So I'm using, um, what is this? It's Davis Greg EP80 something, something, something. Yeah, EPV80. So I think, and I have space for it, to be something like this it clears the shaft for the dry sump and we can from this outlet if i can find a 90 rubber hose then that would be good and then we have a 90 degree adapter that came with a with a thing so that 90 can actually go on the side of the pump here looking down like this come on something something like this and then literally another 90 connects to that blue hose over there um, ideally I would want to fashion some kind of bracket so it's not just sort of hanging on the hoses um, that could be a bit more problematic because for some reason it doesn't have any mounting holes. I don't know. It has those slots in here. But I wonder if it's like optional bracket you can buy or something, which I don't have time for. So I'm thinking I could theoretically drill a little hole in here and then attach like a little metal bracket that will either bolt to here or in one of those original places, something like that, just to sort of secure it in place. I made a video about how I made this little sort of S-shape pipe. I was able to cut it and utilize it and make a 90 degree with it. So this 90 is gonna go into here. 
like that. So then we have outlet at the top. And then we obviously have a 90 degree on the pump itself with a with a normal coupler. So that will slide onto that thing. And then we're gonna have a 90 degree from the inlet to the pump. And you might notice something strange here. It's been cut before, but I just took it out, cut it, and on the lathe. So nice to have a lathe. I made a little grooves so it doesn't come off. Ah, now to wait for the hose for the 90 degree, and then I'll just make a small bracket so the pump is not wobbling around and um, secure it. Probably asking, what the hell is he doing? Why is he drilling the uh, thermostat? Well, having an electric water pump because it's constantly kind of working and stuff. You need to have flow. So in order to control it better, we need to have a, a sort of a trickling flow going through the thermostat, even if it's closed. So for that, we just introduce a couple of um, small holes and um, yeah, it should be able to give us constant flow, even uh, with a small amount, just so we don't overwork the pump. So the thermostat is back inside with a couple of extra holes. I'm still waiting for the 90 degree for the water pump. I did get a belt for the alternator, but it's too short. Well, it's not too short, I think, because of the bracket I'm using. It's just a little bit too short and the gap between the idler pulley, this one, the tensioner and the top part is literally maybe 10 mil. And I don't think, I just don't feel comfortable. I want it to be a bit wider, if you know what I mean, just in case it wobbles, um, I don't want it to touch. So I ordered um, 1360 Amazon to the rescue. Hopefully on Friday um, it's going to arrive. Oh yeah, by the way. The manifold on the blower is on. I just need to tighten some of the um, some of the bolt nuts on the, on the studs. The gearbox is all um, basically secured. Yeah, the shifter cables all adjusted. Everything has been checked over and tightened, and I uh, put extra grease on the shifter mechanism and everything. The clutch line is attached. I bled the clutch, and it works beautifully. Um, dry sump um, hoses are connected and while doing that always my issues i found that one of my things were leaking there was like a little pool of oil right here on the floor so we just um torques torques to the rescue um ebay hopefully on saturday i'll get another 45 degree um i could just swap that for for the breather because obviously breather doesn't have any oil running through it but torques for fixed 60 pounds ultra high flow one uh, you know good quality because this i actually bought on amazon two years ago this whole kit and 12 um yeah buy cheap buy twice i guess um what else what else what else um yeah just basically have time to work on the engine before everything else uh, gets here um there's quite a bit of sort of wiring actually after the last Mallory Park escapade or Alton Mallory or Alton I don't remember again um, there's a little bit of uh, melting occurred on the wrapping of my harness so I'm gonna unwrap it and uh, wrap it um, with fresh fresh tape um, Tessa tape um, what else what else yeah I reckon I reckon we're looking good we're looking good I might, I uh, can't even put oil because, yeah, I was going to put oil and uh, bleed the system for, for oil, but I need to wait for the fitting from Torx. Um, yeah, it's going, it's going good.